Welcome to this short tutorial on how to create a simple well plan in Kelly Dam. In this example, we're going to create a simple well plan that consists of a vertical section down to a kickoff point, a build section, a sail section, a turn section and a soft landing to one target, and then a straight section to a second target, followed by a short rat hole. As you can see in the database explorer, we've already created a small project that consists of a platform, a well, and a proposal called design number one. Right click on design number one and select the second item, design number one data. The proposal editor opens up and as you can see it consists of a single line that represents the location of the wellhead. The first thing we want to do is create the two targets that have been provided by our customer. So click on the targets button, the well plan toolbar, and then click on the Add New Target button. The first target we're going to enter is at the TD of the well. So we'll give it the name TD. We're going to tell it that this is a circle target with a radius of 10 meters. And our customer has told us that the inclination of this target plane is 90 degrees and the azimuth is 76 degrees. One aspect of Kelly Down that people find confusing is how to enter vertical depths and coordinates. It's really quite simple. In the target editor, for example, there are five columns of information. The first column represents information that's relative to the global origin. For example, the vertical depth is relative to mean sea level, and the coordinates are relative to map coordinates. In the second column, the information is relative to the project origin. In the third column, information is relative to the structure or origin. The fourth column contains the information that's relative to the well origin. And the fifth column contains the geographical coordinates of the target. So whichever box you enter the information into, the corresponding information relative to another origin will be displayed in the other boxes. For example, we know that this target at TD has a vertical depth of 1,000 meters relative to mean sea level. So we enter the 1,000 meters in this box under the global origin. As you tab off, the vertical depth of the target is filled in in the other boxes relative to the project origin, the structure origin, and the well origin. Similarly, we know the coordinates of this target relative to the wellhead. And this target is 500 meters north of the well and 5,000 meters east of the well. And that's all we need to define the target. As you tab off these coordinates relative to the well location, the other coordinates, such as the map coordinates, the project origin coordinates, the geographical coordinates, etc., are calculated and displayed for you. So click on the OK button to save this target. Now we want to define the coordinates and location of the second target, which is called LP for landing point. So enter LP. Once again, this is a circular target with a radius of 10 meters. And just for clarity, we'll change the color of this target to orange. Once again, we know this target is 1,000 meters below mean sea level. So we enter 1,000 for vertical depth under the first column. And the coordinates of this target relative to the well are 500 meters south and 1,000 meters east. This time we want Kelly down to calculate the plane's inclination and direction. We want this target to be pointed directly at the TD target when we penetrate it. So we'll click on this button, calculate direction to another target, and we'll select the only other target that we've entered under this well, and click OK. And Kelly Down calculates and displays the inclination and the azimuth, and also the thickness of the target, which is the distance between this target and the target TD. And that's all we need. So click on the OK button to save it to the list, and then close it to have those two targets appear in the well plan editor. Before we go any further, let's look at what we have so far in the Kelly Down Visualizer. So go to the Kelly Down toolbar and click on the Visualizer button. 
As you can see, so far we have the origin of our well and the two targets LP and TD loaded into our visualizer. So we turn to the well plan editor and the first thing we want to do is enter the kickoff point for our well. This is quite easy. We go to the column under the measure depth and in the first vacant cell we enter the kickoff depth which is 250 meters and we tab across to the dog leg rate and enter zero indicating that this is a straight section from the well down to the kickoff point. The next part of this profile is the section between the kickoff point and the landing point target. So click on the box to the left of the landing point target and a red tick mark will appear next to the name of the target, indicating that this is the current target. Above the well plan editor are eight different algorithms represented by either C or H. C stands for curve and H stands for hold. So each one of these algorithms consists of one or more curve sections and one or more hold or straight sections. We're aiming towards this first target called LP and we've defined an inclination and azimuth for that target. So some of these algorithms aren't available to us to hit that target because we've defined an inclination and azimuth. We know from our customer that we want to create a section that consists of a build, then a sales section, then a turn to the target, and then a small soft landing. So we're going to select curve, hold, curve, curve, because that represents the type of profile that we need. So click on that button, and Kelly Dion will immediately calculate a solution. Of course, it won't be the correct solution because we haven't entered the correct dog leg rates or inclination rates, but it does represent the shape for a curve hold, curve curve section. And you can see on the visualizer exactly what that curve looks like. So let's now enter some of the information that we've received from our customer. So we want the dog leg rate to be eight degrees for the bill section and eight degrees for the turn section. We want our soft landing to have a dog leg rate of one degree per 30 meters. And we want the soft landing to be a five degree section that runs from 85 degrees to 90 degrees, just before we hit that first target. So we enter 85 degrees. And that's all we need to define that section of the well plan. The second part of the well plan runs from target LP to target TD. So now we set TD as the current target. And because we haven't defined an inclination and azimuth for that target, we can use any one of those algorithms on the toolbar. Because this is a single section and we know that the target LP is lined up directly with target TD, we can just hit the C for a single section. And Kelly Dion will immediately project the well plan from target LP through to target TD. Finally, we want to enter a short rat hole at the bottom, 10 meters long. So go to the course length field uh, on the next line and enter 10 meters. Tab across to the dog leg column and enter zero for a dog leg. And that's all we need to define this well plan. Any of these fields that have a white background are editable. So you can easily change the kickoff point from say 250 meters to 500 meters. As you can see on the visualizer, our well plan now consists of the straight section down to the kickoff point, the bill section, the sail section, turn to target, a short soft landing, and then the straight section from target LP to target TD. Finally, we'll produce a report of this proposal data. But before we do so, let's define some comments to indicate the important points of this well plan. So click on the profile comments button and then click on generate automatic comments. And Kelly Dion will examine the proposal and insert columns that define each of those important points in the proposal. Click on the close button and then save the modifications. So now just click on the report button at the top, select proposal report with dog leg rates and bill rates, select the appropriate options and click on the preview button. And here is our well plan report consisting of a data section, a list of the comments identifying the important parts of the proposal, and then a list of the targets at the bottom. Thank you for watching this tutorial.